that they call Christian or Nestorian, Nestor, old king renowned for wise counsel. Location of the Prestes kingdom is said to be in Central Asia or India or Ania. Get the drive, man. Catch up on what they saying about the Prestes. 14th century Africa talking about the Preston. <laughs> yeah, they all need the title. They got their own Preston flow, you know. To them, it's Haile Selassie and he's this, he's the God, right? You know what I'm saying? He's the God, man. He's the prophet. You no, know what I mean? Marcus Garvey's the prophet, but I mean, come on, man. We've gone a long time without nobility. We replaced our nobility. He replaced the original Preston. Ethiopia has been claimed for many years as the origin of the Preston John legend, but many experts believe it is simply adapted to fit that nation in the same fashion it was projected onto Mongolia and India in the 13th century. There is nothing about Preston or his country that would make Ethiopia a more suitable identification than any other place. And there was no knowledge of this story in the Ethiopian hinterland before European contact. <sighs> because they're in the wrong Ethiopia and they're in the wrong India. Kanka. Kanka. Medieval Empire of the Israelites by Robert Grisham. Bitch belly flopping on page 297 of the PDF, 286 of the actual book. The coming to power of a Semitic group in Rome signified a transition to an Aramaic Hebrew. Aramaic Hebrew language. And this strengthened the positions of the Semitic regions and weakened Latin Europe. Here is why the traditional history believes that the dark time of the all European decay arrived. It is also called a huge, a time of huge influence of Eastern and Arabic cultures. Supposedly the Arabs gave Europe mathematics, right? Yeah, ask the Moors, they're going to break it down. Yeah, we, we schooled all the so-called whites. <laughs> and then we created your opposites and we put them against you because we're the alchemical serpent. We represent androgyny. We bring everything to life and kill everything. Astronomy, medicine, everything is correct, but only not Arabs, but Aramaic Semitic group. It was not divided in a practical way into Hebrew and Arabic. All the way to the end of the 15th century, the Israelites prayed in Hebrew in temples with minarets, minarets, M I N A R E T S, and wrote prayers in Arabic and Hebrew. Remember Arab proper, Joktan flow. The root of the word Arab is Rav, or what? Rav, like a, a rabbi, right? <laughs> so the Hebrew rabbi is the Arab. <laughs> Got him. Got him, boss. At the beginning is the Hebrew attributive term. So you can't get, whoa. <laughs> Yo, I promise, man, I'm belly flopping and we been dick. Go get the previous drops, man. I did not see, but this is more validation. Press the one, I know, let's go for the dismount. Arab is Rav, R-A-V. Okay. The word rabbi originated from the root Rav, right? You see that? You see that, man? So when we talk Arab proper, yeah. When we're talking Jock Tan and Arab proper and stuff, son of Eber, his, he's also called Katan 
in Arabic literature with a K. First king of Yemen, right? This is son of Eber, Heberu, first king of Yemen. His son, Yarub, first person to speak Arabic. This is why they're praying in Arabic, because it's coming from Yarub. It's coming from Katan, Kar Kata. Kata, right? Kathay, right? Choctaw, right? <laughs> this is why Takun say wanted to tribe you up, because we are all Kata. You got to know there's a difference. This is but the legendary form of the tradition that Katan was the progenitor of the Southern Arabs, Joktan, which is also Yucatan, or Arabs proper, while Ishmaelite Arabs were not of Arab stock, were originally of non-Arab stock. Just because they came from Abraham don't make you an A rabbi, don't make you a rabbi. Just because you came from Ishmael don't make you a rabbi in code with the tribe of Israel. Just because you coming out of Ishmael or Moab or anything else don't make you a rabbi. It makes you a musty, a musty rat. <laughs> That's what they call it. We're talking about pretending Arabs, adopting Arab customs, adopting a rabbi custom, adopting the code and spinning it and twisting it. fusing it with pagan worship. Now the original Arabs were Kata. The original Arabs were the proper of Eber. We're talking Sheba, man. We're talking Ofer, man. And we still got to have a whole section digging on Ofer and you know, all these possibilities and places it can be, I guess, one-on-one. -on -one. We're coming in hot. <laughs> like I said, we just getting started.